What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Melly, and today we're gonna be doing an overview on my CZ Scorpion. Going over it, showing y'all every part and everything that I got done to my CZ Scorpion, letting y'all know if it's worth buying one. Let's get straight into this motherfucking video. Right now, I have it without the brace. I'm gonna add the brace on there. I just want to give you guys a little look at how it's gonna come out the box. Obviously, without the red dot and without the light. So go ahead and add that brace. Here is how it looks with our pistol brace on it. Looks very nice. Well, let's get into this firearm. CZ Scorpion came right here in this box. If they had the brace on, it wouldn't be a fitting here. This is how it came straight in this box. I don't think there's nothing in this box no more. Get a little CZ Scorpion cleaning kit, a little owner's manual, and then, and then it comes with two magazines. A little cleaning kit comes with some oil, some little brushes, a hex um, alley wrench, a little lock. Just, just the little stuff that'll come with any regular pistol, to be honest. There's nothing special in this box. It comes with two 20 round magazines. Look like these would be the nine millimeter variant of the P-Max, but these are CZ Scorpion Max, made straight by CZ. So you get two 20 round mags. At first I thought these was like 25, but they're 20. So I'm definitely gonna get some more of these in the future, but this gun is still fairly new. Everything I have on this gun so far, I have a uh, Olight 1500 lumens light. Thanks to them guys for sending me out this light. We have a Gideon Prism on here. I'm kind of iffy about it right now. I might throw the Sig Romeo back on there, but I'm gonna I'm give it a couple hundred more rounds to see if I like it. We have our pressure pad right up top for the light. Our light also comes with a laser option. Also comes with a laser option. If we talking just by looks, this gun looks pretty good. If you ask me, it looks pretty good. They upgraded the, the, the pistol grip. People used to hate their pistol grips. This one actually feels good. It feels natural. It doesn't like irk your nerves when you grip it. I, I really like this pistol grip. I have no reason to change this pistol grip. This is actually not the OEM pistol grip. This is a PAX Finder, a PAX Pathfinder. That is the name of this pistol grip. Just look at that. It looks so nice, bro. Like this gun is so good. It shoots so smooth. Like when it comes to recoil, so this is just a standard blowback recoil system. It's nothing special. It's not roller delay or anything like that, but it shoots super soft. I'm not one of those guys who just, oh, I need, if I get a PCC, it has to be roller delay because the recoil in this thing is little to nothing. I want to say it kicks somewhat like a 5.56 since 5.56 doesn't have any recoil if you know how to get a proper stance and grip the firearm properly. It has no recoil. Put up a video of me shooting it. I put up a video of my girl shooting it because she likes this gun too. And you can tell when she shoots it, since she's not as experienced when it comes to shooting as me, that this gun is easy to shoot. Just, just look at that bad baby. Aftermarket trigger in there. They fixed it. They fixed the uh the AMD selector. So this is the CZ Scorpion three plus micro three plus. Actually, it's not the three plus. It's the micro three plus. So this one has the AR style mag release. Instead of having the AK mag release, which would be right here, you would press this and pull it. Now it has the AR style. And one thing about the new CZ Scorpion is it doesn't take the old magazines. The only way it will be able to take the old magazines is if you put a cutout right here where the mag locks into place because now it has the AR style mag and AR style mag release. So you have to have a cutout because the mag latch, the latch has to have something to catch on to so it doesn't pull right out. But I've seen people use old mags and just hold it. That will work, but you can just shade that out and make a little cutout right there. Still has the standard HK slap. Still has that little slap. Nothing changed about that. Full ambidextrous. So you can't take the, you can't take your latch and move it to the right side. Take it from the right side, move it to the left side. Standard, uh, I, I don't know what this uh, muzzle device is really called. This will be coming off soon because I'm gonna be running the suppressor on here. So I'm gonna be running the suppressor on this thing. So this won't be on there too much longer. But uh, we should definitely have our suppressor by the end of the month. 
sure. For sure. The skeletonized sugar comes with the M. The, okay, so these things come with the M lock furniture straight from factory. I'm pretty sure you guys know that. And this model, at least I know this model did, came with the hand stop. That was really, really nice. So I did. When I got this fire, I really didn't have to upgrade nothing. That was what I was like. Oh, yeah, this is a cop, bro. And I got it for a steal. The maximum defense pistol brace, the stabilizer. This thing is like half, a, a, more than a quarter of a price of the firearm. So I'm like, need that. It feels so good in my shoulder. I can't wait to run this press. This is a, a nice option for home defense. If you put that can on there, throw you some subs in there, you won't love it. Nice option for a truck gun. You know, I really don't believe in truck guns too much. It's just like, I guess people just say, hey, this is my truck gun, even though in reality it's not. They might they might carry it in the truck. I, this was kind of like my backpack gun, but then I realized I don't take a backpack everywhere. And then I just don't want to leave my backpack in the car if I go in the, like somewhere and I don't want to look crazy. But I do walk around with it in my backpack sometimes. As of right now, when I run it as a backpack gun, the reason I think I haven't been carrying it so much is because when I do run it in my backpack, I have to take this brace off and run it without the brace until I get the folding adapter from Sullivan Arms. Shout out to Sullivan Arms. I need to go ahead and send that that uh, that adapter for the CZ Scorpion br um, brace slash stock. This gun is so fire. Would I recommend this gun to, to you guys? I would say yes because I think my light just died. Oh no, it's just a way down. I would definitely recommend this firearm, especially for people. This is my first PCC, especially for people who are trying to get into the PCC world because it's a nice budget PCC, even though it's around about a thousand bucks. It's still budget friendly because you can find them used for a decent price. And then, as when it comes to aesthetics, this thing looks way better than a lot of CCs. Like the, the BNT is kind of ugly to me. The uh, stripe log is really ugly. The, How do you uh, guys like this build? It shoots fairly nice. It's a flat. It's a flat shooter, man. I'm trying to tell you, this trigger is so nice when you're shooting it. That's a, uh, nice, man. It's not a super heavy trigger, but then at the same time, it's not super light. I feel like it's just right in the middle. They did it to the point where like you don't need an upgrade. But if you do want to upgrade, I don't know what I'm trying to say. But you don't. This is not really a, a aftermarket trigger. This is just an aftermarket trigger shoot. So it's still the standard pull, all of that. It's just a different trigger shoot. So it's kind of like just a steak. And probably I think the original was, uh, was curved. So it basically just changed to a straight trigger, flat face trigger. If you was interested in buying the CZ Scorpion, I would tell you guys definitely go out and get this. Definitely go out and get this, especially when you see how soft it shoot. You seeing right now how good it looks. It's the gun to buy. I would I'm just gonna say that it's the gun to buy. I would take this over AR9. I wouldn't say I'll take this over BT, BNT because I'll definitely get the BNT and flip it and then go get me one of these because I don't need that expensive as PCC or the roller delay system. I don't really need that because I know how to control recoil. Even though the guys who do get it, they know how to control recoil, but they just soy boys. So, yeah, fire, fire, fire gun, definitely worth the money. Definitely a nice shooter if you want to teach girls how to kind of get into the AR platform, the the PCC platform, because this controls are pretty much like the AR, except for this and the um, safety selector would be more up here, so they'd be, but they can kind of get a feel for shoulder and the firearm comes with the standard cz scorpion iron sights from factory like i said it comes with the hand stop okay so yeah something that's new this year with the cz scorpion let me show you guys wreck it back where the ar where the um ak style mag release was this button right here is now a bolt dropper Put the magazine out then you hold that down so that my hands up here so it's kind of like the bolt, the bolt dropper on the AR-15, but instead it's where the old AK mag release was. Once it gets the, the folding adapter on here, I'm gonna run it full-time backpack gun. 
Then I get the suppressor on here. It's just gonna be so nice. I heard. Let's get into the barrel spec. This barrel is 4.2 inches long. That's really not long for a 9mm barrel. Most Some Glocks are the same size as this. I just feel like you get a better control with it. You can get more accurate shots with it. That's the reason I got it. Instead, You can say I got the CZ Scorpion from Black Ops 2. Not the CZ Scorpion, but you can say you got the Scorpion from Black Ops 2. I'm going to put that right up there on the screen because this is exactly what that looked like. If you had the old generation and you went out and bought this one, your, your new mags will work for the old ones. But if you want to use your old max for the new ones, like I said, you'll have to make that little latch for it to be able to catch on it. I feel like it's still worth it to have a his and hers. Go, go ahead and get your girl, your old one, your wife, your old CZ Scorpion, and go ahead and pick up the new CZ Scorpion. I really like this firearm. Like, it just looks good. When you see it, it's like, oh, okay. Let me know what y'all copper dropped this CZ Scorpion. I'm not going to make this video too long, but I'm going to put some B-roll in here. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Don't forget to follow the steps to enter this giveaway. DM Melly5568 on Instagram. The picture of y'all subscribe. Y'all like the video. Y'all comment on the video. Y'all got to follow my TikTok and follow me on Instagram. Send a screenshot of all them directions if y'all completed them, obviously. And I will enter y'all the giveaway. We all should win. G Flex Trigger. Scorpion is guys. Make sure y'all are you interested in PCC. Go ahead and cop this John. If your friend was talking about getting CZ Scorpion, send him this video. If you was thinking about getting CZ Scorpion, I hope I convinced you to go buy one. Yo! First you let me, then you hate me. I can't take this again. My heart is broken, soul is damaged, feelings all through the wind. No, I don't know if it's just me, fell. I'ma die for them sins. No, I don't know if it's just me. I'm sipping lean like it's gin. I'm with some youngest who gon' step and take they lick to the pen. They took my nigga, I can't cup and all I know is revenge. He step for me, I step for him. I put one up, we checking him. If he run up, we step on him. What the fuck these Smith and Wessons do? Late night, like on the I block, riding a fast dude cruise. In. We ain't gotta speak on the last I've heard he caught a headshot, left him snoozing We ain't gotta hit every eye block, hop off switches, ass won't lose him They like what we do to him, them switches, hit them noodle him When we hop out like who is him, they better have them tools with them